Hello everybody, my name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an FAQ with the new Lifter LMS SkyPilot theme. That FAQ is how do I change the button color on certain items like the progress bar and the mark complete button and also the course continue button. We can see if I continue the course, jump into any of my lessons, we have a few different button colors going on that we might want to change. So with the Lifter LMS SkyPilot theme we're leveraging a tool called Full Site Editing. If I go to Appearance Editor on the back end of my WordPress website, let me go back. This might be a little bit of a new feature uh, for users jumping in uh, to a full site editing theme. Appearance Editor is a new area we have that looks completely different than the WordPress interface that we're used to working in WordPress. And when I open this, you can see all kinds of stuff going on on the right and all kinds of stuff going on on the left. Uh, but primarily what we want to do is enter the full site editor because we want to change some button colors. And we can do this on any template, but we can see if I go over to maybe my single course template and edit this, I'll have an option in the upper right hand corner of all of my templates, but since I'm working on a course, I'll just do it in the course layout. And that's up here called styles in the upper right corner. It's a little bit obscure, but you'll get used to this icon over time. This is where we're going to be spending a lot of time modifying things like our colors, our palette, and this is going to be the color for my um, complete button there, or not my complete button, my, uh, my get started button. So I updated that red color I had to a blue color, and that was under styles, palette, and then this palette right here, I found that red color and turned it blue. So now I have that blue color as my background. And we can see I have a hover color which is orange. My computer's going a little bit slow. We have that orange color. If I find that orange color, oops, Google Chrome is taking up a lot of resources. That orange color, I think is this one maybe. Let me give it a try, turn it yellow, save changes, and then reload over here. There we go. So now we have the yellow color. And of course my color choices in the tutorial are not very good, but that's how you can change the color for certain items in your online course site. Let's take a look at one other area. We'll just keep noodling around with it a little bit. We have the mark complete button. Let me see if I can isolate what's going on here. Um, I hope it's not this white. Uh, let me let me just give it a try. Make it a green color. That's going to be like the background for everything. So let me reload and see if that that changes it. It is. So it is good to know. So that mark complete button color is coming from this theme color up at the top. Let me change that back over to white um, for the background. There we go. Save. And reload. So there we go. So that mark complete button is coming from this color palette here. So if we did want to change that, that's where we would go into CSS mode a little bit and probably put a little bit of CSS on our our mark complete button block uh, by giving it a class and then determining the CSS for that class. So that's a little bit more advanced diving into giving an item a class and then determining some CSS for the class. But if you do want to see that tutorial, let us know in the comments below this video. But that's an overview as to how you can identify certain colors on the front end of your website that you might want to change, like the getting started button in the progress bar and how you can change those colors. Let me know in the comments below this video if you want to see other videos pertaining to full site editing and let us know what videos you do want to see. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video and I will see you in the next one.